Hey, it's Inge Boy. Welcome back once again to Luigi and the Island Mystery. On to Fiery Wasteland here. Let's see, there's uh, Mr. Fire Pokey. Kind of interesting concept. There's the really weird looking fire hopping thing. And that kind of looks like a cat that's on fire. Don't know why I see that, but it does. Hit little Tommy the emo tur turtle there. Already missed one uh, dragon coin, so not really sure why I'm bothering with the other ones. I mean, like, look at this. I will probably never come back into this level again, yet there are blue switch blocks in this level. And I've not even found the level that contains said uh, said switch because it's mega starship and it has to be somewhere towards the end I'm really wondering what little fire cat there is I'm assuming pokey or pokey why did I say pokey I'm assuming a spiny but I mean look if I had the uh, blue switch I mean I could get up yeah uh, get up here without having to use the springboard and now that's kind of making me think the springboard is going to be needed for the uh, secret exit which also makes me think that maybe mega starship is going to be like the next level or I mean, what's this? This is like the end. Because this was a yellow level. Shy Guy's Cave. Yeah, so what was the point of having blue blocks in there at all? Where I'm not even ever probably going to go back into that level. <clears throat> I just, I, I just do not get it. I don't. I won't even lie. So that's just like a little reset pipe. But yeah, I, I won't even lie about that. Most likely, I will not be going into that level. And you know, it really doesn't... It just bothers me that the... It's acting as if you can get the Switch that early. I don't know. It just bothers me. It doesn't seem correct. In any sense of the word. We. Four, three, two, one. My counting's off. Was a little bit. <clears throat> Yellow ball thing. And this level is really short. Uh, Wasteland Shrine here. Yeah. I mean, look at this one, too. This one does not have a secret exit either. Yet it has the blue switch blocks, which I'm not even like going to go back into this level. What is the point of adding in the switch blocks in levels that you aren't even probably going to play again, and like coming back just to get the benefit after you've gotten the switch is so it, it's just like over the top unneeded. Oh, it just bothers me. It doesn't seem right for whatever reason. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I don't like doing that sort of stuff. I guess that's why it bothers me so much. If I'm going to put switch blocks into a level, I'm going to put it after you can find that switch and either make it beneficial to get said blocks or unbeneficial to get said blocks. I actually probably could have get gotten both of those uh, yellow blocks by using the Koopa dude to get him. Knock him out of his shell and then jump down while spinning. Probably what I could have done. Oh well. Too late now. 
lots of ghosts and going in this pipe. And this place is kind of dark, but I can still see everything perfectly fine because there's a midway point and lots of blocks on the ceiling. I didn't even hit them all. And then this light. I don't know, this light is kind of really, really bright for, uh, I don't know. It's just kind of very bright. Makes What is with the Pokeballs? That's one thing I never understood, is the random Pokeball usage. Those are red, can't kill him, which means he's going to just be a hindrance, because I can't... I mean, look at that, more blue blocks. That's, uh, bothering me so much. I mean, I get, uh, putting in the, like, blue blocks if there was a chance you would possibly be coming back here in the future, but for me, there isn't. Ha ha ha! Getting two feathers again! Making sure I was getting the feathers. Resnor. I mean, like, right here. If I had the blue blocks, this fight would, well, not really be all too much harder. Or easier. But why even have them there if there's really no way that I could have gotten them? I just, ah. Uh, <clears throat> it bothers me. Ah. Uh. Well, enough of ranting about the blue blocks. I'll probably find more of them in this level. There's that guy. He's just... Oh. They're very icy. How come enemies aren't affected by icy conditions? Oh, you little bird nest. Why are you right there? Where would the secret exit be? For that matter, the real exit. This didn't even look like it was underground. Or underground. Underwater. Slide! Damn it. Stupid fish. Probably should have gotten the uh, fire flower. At least I can get, like, a health point out of that. Having two power-ups, losing one, I get a health point from it. It's kind of nice. Yeah, so if I had a fire flower, which I should have brought in, I could have gone down there. Which is either just a shortcut or where one of the exits would be. I don't even... I don't even know. And then there's that. I mean, that takes away something from me for getting the red switches. I guess it was a dangerous shortcut, I would say. But still took away the fact that I could have gone in there. Even this one. It's like, oh, hey, look at that. Lots of, lots of feathers. But this also gives me an indication that Maybe not. I don't know. I was going to say it really gives me an indication that I could go down there, but I can't. Okay. Well, I guess fire... I would have needed a fire flower to possibly get a secret exit in there. Ooh, what is this? It's bad there wasn't a way to, like, give Luigi a dark silhouette when going in there. Make him... Ha! <laughs> a little snow pokey. Swim faster! Faster, Luigi! But yeah, having, like, a... The player having a dark silhouette when in the water. And even the enemies. Maybe HDMI effect? I don't know. How am I supposed to do that? Maybe that way? I don't know. It seems I took the more dangerous path that time. But those also seem less 
enemy intensive going the bottom route and there's a one up for me so that's naval fleet ice barricade again try and find the secret exit the I guess it'd just be the alternate exit as it stands right now because there's no real way to tell if I got the real exit or not at this current moment. There's little cheapy birds. Which I have to admit are pretty cool for the fact that they're little cheapy birds that actually animate pretty decently. Wait a minute. I see something down there. I didn't actually notice that before. Is there a spot I can get into the water? Because I, I didn't actually notice that before. That's kind of leading me to believe that this way might be the alternate exit. Hmm. Interesting. So, can't go too far off the screen because it still doesn't exist because it's not actually water of any sort. Ah, there we go. Okay, so there is Mr. Fire Guy, which I guess it kind of makes more sense to have him, like, pulling up pillars or whatever those are. Instead of fire. Oh, what the freaking. So, fire was unneeded for the secret exit, apparently. There we go. And. Secret exit. Sinking feeling. So, there is a heart here, but I'm going to call it a day right now. Anyway, this has been Ninja Boy, and I'll be back later. See you guys.